much as I'd love to be in a secluded cabin in the mountains somewhere, writing and developing a feature film so that I could be the next Christopher Nolan, the reality is the exact opposite. I've got a family to feed, bills to pay, which means I've got to generate enough income in my video production company to do this little thing called make a profit. And to do this and to do it for a long time, I need to find, land, and keep the right video clients. So whether you're a solo videographer or run a production company, this video is for you. Let's get into it. It's not been as fun since watching this video, you've probably been bombarded with ads about how to grow your video business. And while I'm not here to tell you any of them are wrong, I am here to remove one glaring misconception, that there is no easy, fast track recipe to success. Every business for all of time has been a master at this dying art form. It's called hard work. But I'm not gonna say there's no value in buying a course to help grow your video business. But as best I can, I'm gonna help boil it down by sharing my personal experience. Today, I don't wanna give you a roadmap to success, but just as a friend would share some advice to another friend, this is what I would want to give you. The first thing is, before we make a profit, we need to lay the foundation of our own brand by writing out a set of goals and determining what the overall vision is. I can't stress this enough because without a goal, you may be making cool videos, but you're doing so aimlessly. In order to make this a business or fulfill a lifelong dream, you need to sit down and write out where you wanna be five, 10, 15 years from now and get specific. What kind of projects do you wanna be working on? Who do you wanna be working with? How much money do you wanna make? Having a measured, quantifiable goal is essential to achieve what you want in the film industry. First, finding the right client starts by creating spec projects that embody the goals and values you've already outlined. Ultimately, you will never be satisfied with clients that don't reflect your own values no matter how big the paycheck is. Don't make spec projects for what's cool, what's trendy. Make projects that you're passionate about, but make sure that you create these projects with loads of value to a potential client. For instance, I just created two spec projects, one for a local ceramic studio and one for a farm. I didn't know them, they didn't know me. But because I came offering value up front, they were interested in doing the project. And now that the project is complete, not only do I have a solid relationship with them, but I have two projects added to my portfolio that align with my brand's values. Creating spec work is one of the best investments you can make into your business. Not only is it a great way to gain experience for yourself, but it underscores and forges your visual style and tone for customers that are looking for what you're creating. When you start posting these projects online, you'll slowly begin to see some traction, but I wouldn't expect a flood of emails in your inbox the next day. That would be an anomaly and anyone who's trying to sell you on the fact that they can generate leads and turn them into sales like the government prints money is living in a false reality. This is hard work. So you have to be able to stomach the slow times. And now that you're creating work that reflects who you are, you're beginning to move the needle, building momentum and establishing yourself in the space as a filmmaker that makes amazing content. As you keep doing this, over time, you will begin to make some new connections, but you can also be proactive with your portfolio. If there's someone else you wanna work with, but this time you wanna get paid, use your existing portfolio and draw up a video strategy that will help bring value to their business. And that takes us from finding the right client to landing the client. And landing the client is all about showing the value that you can offer. You kind of have to get your head out of this cinematic technical skill that you do so well and put yourself in their shoes. Ask yourself, what does their business need and draw the connection to what you have to offer. For me, I think there's tremendous value in telling a company's story through highly produced customer testimonials. This not only humanizes their brand, but it makes it more relatable and authentic. And you have to take it a step further by suggesting what you're offering is crucial to the success of their business. Essentially, what you're saying is that without you and your videos that you're giving to them, they're missing out on leveling up their business. Landing a client starts by crafting your value proposition. Then when they're interested, you jump on a discovery call and discuss a game plan that will help achieve what they need through video. Then at the end of the call, tell them you're gonna write a proposal that will include two to three different video packages. 
Each of these packages will have varying price points and video details. And I would strongly suggest to send that proposal around two hours after the discovery call. And if it's a big enough project, I would schedule a time to walk through the proposal and a call before you show it to them all together. So putting these two things together, understand finding the right client starts with creating the right projects. Landing clients starts with offering immense value to their business. And lastly, how do we keep the clients as lifelong customers? There's two things here. One, communicate to them throughout the entire process, from pre-production to delivery. Give them updates, where you are in the shoot, the edit, the scripting. Inform them that their investment is being put to good use. Try not to bombard them with questions, but keep it positive and concise. Secondly, deliver an amazing product. If you wanna keep this client for a lifetime, never shortchange them on quality. Give them the best video they've ever seen and give it to them on time. I know life can get busy, but delivering a product on time says a lot about your character and sets the expectation for future videos. I can guarantee you they won't work with a production company that consistently delivers videos to them a week or two late. A bonus tip for this is to set up the expectation in the pre-production meetings by giving a lead time, payment terms, production time, and creating a contract agreement. And as you develop longevity with your clients, you can begin offering retainer packages for your video services. That way you're not sweating it out every month, but you have a solid stream of income on a regular basis. So in conclusion, if you can nail these principles, you're on your way to building a profitable business and you get to do what you love. I feel like each of these points could honestly deserve their own video, maybe for another time. Let me know what you think in the comments. But at the end of the day, it's just a matter of building relationships, staying patient, and over delivering on expectations. If you wanna hear more about building a filmmaking career, I made a video about it here, you can watch that. Thanks for watching this video, I'll see you in the next one.